Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Spartan 3 Crusher, back at it again with another EDC pocket dump. And a quick disclaimer, um, before I forget, all of this is not carried at one given time. Um, this is my entire rotation of knives and belts and all this. So this could be, uh, some of this could be carried at any given time, except for school. Um, this entire section right here, the knives and the multi-tools, are not carried at school whatsoever. So don't worry about that. I don't bring any of my knives to school. I'm not breaking any laws when I carry any of my knives. So I check my local laws and all of this is perfectly legal to carry. So now that that's over with, we can continue on with the awesomeness here. And um, let's go ahead, I guess, go, you know, left, left to right. Leave the awesomeness for uh, later. So first of all, you know, same tactical pen, the 511 TMT PLX. 90 lumens, pretty awesome. I still like this. Haven't had to replace the batteries yet. So, uh, new addition. Um, Got to do a review on it. Is my uh, CRKT Eaton tool in black uh, with a blue lanyard. Um, I do carry this to school. You never know when you might need something like uh, this. We got the flathead, the couple of hex hex wrenches, and a spork. You never know when you need a spork. Um, standard right in the rain. Uh, flip notebook. So, got some uh, written stuff in here. Um, you know, some uh, new creations. You know, some uh, some stuff for YouTube, like you know, knife. Uh, my knife uh, specifications. So when I'm doing YouTube, I could have that my write the rain pad, and be reading off uh, the description of the knife, and not forget. So you can see all this is just. Just some uh, ideas coming into my head, and I write it down. So up here, we have the belt. So first belt is my dress belt. Um, very standard. It's a brown and black belt. You can switch over to whichever color you need. So very basic Dockers uh, leather belt. Had it for years, and I still wear it because it's quite fancy. So go ahead and get this out of the way to make up more space. Um, up here is a more thicker leather belt. Uh, it's a black leather belt, very basic, very generic. So, very nice, large, fits me well. Like the, unlike the dock, Dockers, I think it's a smaller belt. Um, up here is my standard issue ACU belt that I got issued to me. Well, not issued to me. They couldn't issue me one because they ran out, so I had to go and buy this one. So, standard issue ACU belt for your current uh, military or the U.S., so for the army, for I don't know. This is your current army U.S. Mil current U.S. Army military issued belt. There we go. That sounds right. That that's some good English, I think. So very basic, um, very nice too. Uh, I've had to use this before, not for a belt. Um, had to use this to pull a tree, oddly enough, and it didn't work because the tree was too big. So go ahead, move my keys over and push this up, so you guys can see more. headphones this is this is an entire mess here i'm sorry guys these headphones are i hate normal you know they're standard earbuds because they get all tangled up as soon as you drop them so standard billfold you know very basic no money in it um you know same watch same uh wind up uh, classical watch very elegant i wear this pretty much every time i i'm not going out camping or working out um, still the same paracord bracelet, uh, Mad Max inspired. Very nice. Have to clean it every so often because this gets dirty with all the, um, outdoor reviews I do for the camp torture tests. Um, my keys, very basic, house key, um, car, key fob, car key, uh, Gerber shard and, a Ford because I drive a Ford. And it's all still attached to it by this uh, airliner, airplane metal loop. Some, I forget, it's some Chinese little key ring thing I got for like $1. So, um, new headphones. My other headphones broke and I got to put them under my warranty. Got to ship them back in because they decided to kick the bucket on me under the year warranty. So, so these are your standard Beats audio ear earbuds. They're okay. They're good. They drown out the sound of school and 
I hate school. So I hate I hate sitting in class just like everybody else. No, nah, I'm kidding. Um, I like school. I just don't like listening. I like to listen to music. But I still make good grades, so. Um, Pilot G2 pen. I'm going to be upgrading to a Right in the Rain pen here soon, which is a pressurized um, ink cartridge. So, kind of like a uh, Fisher space pen, but it's by Right in the Rain. Um, first knife here is pretty basic. Uh, Cold Steel Spartan. I know you guys seem to like this knife uh, based on the views. So, very nice. Very gritty. Uh, I'm going to have to clean that out. Um, new knife I just got today. Uh, Kershaw Emerson CQC 6K. Uh, with, I think, HCR 13 MOV steel. Which is a, this thing is razor blade sharp. I am going to, I am going to cut a piece of paper with it. Just because. Yeah. This thing is freaking sharp. I mean, like, holy shit, sharp. Just amazing how sharp Kershaw, oh, tore it. It's amazing how sharp Kershaw got there, this uh, Emerson replica knife. Oh, before I drag everything and its mother away from the table, let me clean this up. Put that paper away, so very nice, like this. This is the knife, yes, that I was considering trading my Cold Steel Spartan in. This is the knife that made me con consider trading my pride and joy over here. That's because I like it so much, you know. I'm going to do a brief description. Um, stainless steel back here, ACR 13 steel, uh, wave feature, thumb disc, and a uh, molded G10. So, very nice. I got this for like uh, 40 bucks at uh, Overwatch. So, very cheap. And uh, considering how expensive that Emerson is... Um, I think their standard issued Emerson about this size is around 200, 300 bucks. So for forty dollars, you get an Emerson looking knife uh, with the Kershaw quality. You know, yeah, uh, I'm I'm not complaining, and I don't think you should complain either. There's nothing wrong with that knife, and that knife will probably last just as long as an Emerson would. So it comes with a cool box too. I'll fix this. Um. My, you know, typical everyday carry Benchmade Griptilian that is very shiny. I'm going to have to cover up. No, I'm kidding. I like it. Um, it may need a little touch up on a sharp and I've been using it a lot. But, yeah, I still carry this every day. I did carry this today um, just, you know, because I bought it. So, but yeah, I like this knife a lot still. You know, if I pay 106 bucks, it's probably because I like it. Um, Gerber PR 3.0. This is my backup. Just in case I leave this in the car most of the time. It's been in the house. Um, but if, like, let's say I'm in the car and I forget to carry a knife, which is very rare. But if I forget to carry my knives, uh, I'll put this in my pocket. Why? Because it's a dang good knife. Even though it's partly serrated, which I hate part serrations. 50-50 blade, I hate it. But um, it is a good knife. Good quality. It's nice and strong. So for a backup EDC... Sorry, guys. Had a yawn. It'll work. Um, continuing on, Victorinox, Tinkerer, and Red, um, missing my tweezers, I lost my tweezers, I'm sad and depressed, but I'm going to be buying some Overwatch, you know, you know, typical, if you, if, if you guys are hearing I'm buying something for, for tactical gear, it's probably going to be at Overwatch Supply, why, because, like I said, I'm in love with Overwatch Supply, I freaking love it, so, uh, CRKT Squid, yes, Yes, and if you haven't seen my squid torture video, please go and watch that. I did find my squid. And, oh, I'm so happy. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. I, I like, almost peed myself when I, um, I, I heard that they found my squid. My girlfriend said she found my squid in her couch. So, very happy. Woo! And, um, last but not least, my brand new purchase of the Gerber Dime. Yep, that's right. I got a small multi-tool now. So, I will be carrying this every day, except for school. Remember that, except for school. So, don't freak out. So, I do carry this every day now. It slips into your coin, it slips into my coin pocket, even with the Victorinox in there. So, it, it, so it, it rides side by side with my Victorinox. Why? Because they're both multi tools. So, but yeah, so, norm, so normally what I carry every day, let me kind of go and point this out. 
Um, I don't really wear a leather belt unless I'm really dressing up. So normally what I carry is, I carry my uh, tactical uh, ACU belt. Why? Because that's a strong belt and it's tactical. Um, I'll carry my squid attached to my belt, just like, let me show you. Uh, I'll carry it just like, uh, something, um, not like that, more like this. Just like this, alright, so this is the outside facing the public, and this is the uh, facing my body, so as you can tell. Let's pretend this, the rest here is my body, and this is, you know, just like that. And it works well, rides on my hip. Why? Because I literally have no more rooms in my pocket to carry anything because I carry so much stuff. And I know I could get a Maxpedition pocket helper or whatever it's called, but I don't want to. Not yet. Um, what I carry then is my Gerber Dime, side by side with my Victorinox Cadet, and side by side with one of the either two. Um, the Kershaw Emerson CQC6, K, CQC6, K, or the Benchmade Reptilian. And, you know, pen, headphones, all the rest of this. But, um, you know, I, I haven't carried the Spartan in a, in a while. And I haven't carried the Gerber 3.0 in a while. So, but other than that, that's pretty much what I carry every day. This is my entire rotation. Um, there's literally nothing else. I don't think. I hope not. Because that would suck. But, um, but yeah, guys. So, you know, another update video. I'll, I will continue updating when I buy more gear. And please don't make me buy more gear because I have an addiction. Yes, I have an addiction for buying gear. I'm dead broke, guys. I'm buying so much gear, I'm broke. Literally, I'm broke. So, write in the comments to not buy any more gear. Because I don't want to be broke anymore. I want to have money. So I could buy more gear. <laughs> Oh man, I I I'm, I know guys, I know I'm crazy. I have I have a strange addiction, and I think you guys love it because the views just keep on coming in. So, and I can't complain. I love you guys too. Heart, but no guys. So in all seriousness, um, I really enjoy all of this. Um, you know, everything has its own touch in my heart. You know, the Spartan has it has its place in my heart, and it always will be. You know, especially the Benchmade. Seeing how much I carry it now. Um, almost having to pull it on a few people and uh this the squid you know that that's 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 re well settled in the family here so, same with uh everything else so all of this is family to me so it means a lot to me and if i lose one of these things i'm i'm like lost without it just uh, just i uh, and i think i think if anybody loses a piece of their edc you know they're kind of a, a piece of their heart kind of flutters away and it's like no come back but until next time, guys, um, I'm Spark 3 Crusher. Leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'm signing off.